Today we're talking about Cleveland's unofficial second downtown University Circle. And let me tell you, if you haven't been to University Circle yet, it is amazing. World-class healthcare, top-notch universities, and one of America's densest concentration of cultural attraction and art venues. And because of this, we have a ton of people visiting here, but also relocating here. Everyone from college students to medical professionals and everyone in between. So in this video, I'm gonna give you an overview explanation of University Circle itself. Then lastly, I'm gonna cover the surrounding areas and also the neighborhoods, because I understand that moving to a new area can be very daunting, but hopefully at the end of this watching this video, you have a under, better understanding of University Circle itself, but ultimately where you and your family should relocate to. Hey everyone, Alex Kolasar here, local realtor with EXP Realty right here in Cleveland. And if you're looking to move to the area, make sure you shoot me a text or an email, or you can schedule a call with me by using the link in the description. Look forward to helping you guys out. Located on the east side of Cleveland, just a few minutes from downtown, University Circle is a vibrant neighborhood with a really good atmosphere known for healthcare, education, arts, and culture. Now the neighborhood itself focuses on the university and also the hospitals as the backbone of the industry. But of course, throughout the city, we have all these amazing art venues and collections to obviously go visit. Now, what I love about the city is that it is a pretty big city, to be honest. And at the same time, it does have that neighborhood vibe to it, which I absolutely love. Now, to understand University Circle the best, I'm gonna take you over to the map to give you an overview explanation of University Circle itself. So University Circle on the east side is only about four miles east of downtown Cleveland. And you can see why it's gonna be Cleveland's unofficial second downtown. Now let's give you an overview here. As you can see, it's not huge, but we're gonna start with the north, like the northwest-ish part of town, which is gonna be the Cultural Gardens. It cuts all the way through East Cleveland up here to Route 90. Now the Cultural Gardens are, it's a very pretty drive. A lot of windy roads, ton of little gardens throughout, ton of old bridges. Uh, again, this is gonna lead you right into University Circle. It's a great place to go ride a bike or go for a really long run if you're into that. So this ends right in here. This is gonna go right into Wade Oval. You can see this right here. You got the Cleveland Museum of Art, which has free admission and is constantly ranked as one of the top 10 best museums in the nation. And now Wade Oval in general is, a, is just a very cool area, right? In the summertime here, they have Wow Wednesdays, which is Wade Oval Wednesdays. They got bands playing out there. And pretty much any museum that you wanna see is pretty much gonna be in walking distance from this area. And now just north of here, you got the Lewis Stokes VA Medical Center. So shout out to all my veterans. This right here is gonna be your main hospital. Then just to the south of here, of course, we gotta to touch on, by the way, Wade Lagoon in the springtime, all the cherry blossoms. This is such a pretty walk. And that's one of my favorite things about University Circle is how pretty the walks are. Very walkable, especially with Case Western Reserve here. You're gonna see a ton of college students walking around. Now Case Western is not a huge university, right? You got about 6,000 students here in comparison to the Cleveland State University downtown, which has around 16,000 uh, students. And you can see Case Western here, not huge, kind of cuts across the street. And Case Western is gonna be sandwiched right in between the University Hospital's main campus. And then also just to the west here, you have the Cleveland Clinic main campus. You can see how big it is in comparison, right? And now if you head just a little bit east here, Right, so we have the hospitals, we got Case Western, more hospitals here, and then right here is gonna be the downtown area. This is called Uptown. This is where you got a bunch of little, uh, all your food options, bunch of little retail shops. And this is where you're gonna find that little famous hand statue. It's gonna be right here in this plaza. You got Uptown Alley here. Again, all of these spots are little food. You got a plan of fitness in here. So pretty much anything you need is going to be in this spot. And of course, like I said, you're not probably going to be buying a house in University Circle. So you're going to be renting. Got a ton of apartment complexes all within walking distance to here. Again, this is going to be University Circle's, technically it's downtown area, uh, offering a bunch of food and like retail shops, like I said. If we head across the street, or I mean the RTA train tracks here, this little neighborhood over here is going to be Little Italy. I'm sure you heard of it. It is a really cool spot. You can see this red brick road cutting all the way through. Very authentic here. And if I had to sum up Little Italy in, in, in two words, it's going to be authentic and charming. The food here is amazing. But let's move on and talk about housing and living here because University Circle, it's a commercial district. So finding, you know, a condo or a house is going to be pretty much non-existent here. So if you're looking to move in University Circle itself, chances are you're gonna be renting. Now there's a ton of large apartment buildings, but 
expect your rent to be pretty dang high here. You know, but for that nice one bedroom apartment, we're probably paying around 1500 bucks all the way up to that $2,000 mark, which to be honest is pretty dang similar to downtown Cleveland. These luxury apartments are popping up everywhere around Cleveland. And there's a bunch of new development projects currently going up around University Circle itself and the surrounding neighborhoods. You know, and obviously prices are gonna be a little bit more affordable in these older buildings. And now if you're looking to rent a house, chances are you can get a, about a three bedroom house for that same price that you're gonna be renting. So for a lot of people moving here, you know, renting a house out is might be a better option for you, especially if you have a bigger family. Now, one new construction project going up right now is Innovation Square in the Fairfax neighborhood, which is in total gonna to include around 200 apartment units. And they're also putting a Myra's grocery store in there. And the goal here is to kind of create that little community you know, kind of within a community. And now the total goal here is to, around, to have around seven to 800 units total comprising of both apartments and single family housing. And now historically, the area around University Circle hasn't been a very sought after area. A lot of locals refer to University Circle as kind of like this bubble. And that's because University Circle itself is very built up, but unfortunately the neighborhoods around it are not. So it's very unfortunate, but a lot of these neighborhoods to the south, to the north, and to the west, like Fairfax, Howe, and Glenville have been neglected, while other areas to the east, like Cleveland Heights and Shaker Heights have been absolutely booming. But what we're seeing now is a ton of new development projects, both commercially and residentially. And as far as new construction homes, they're beginning to pop up a little bit too. You know, they're popping up in areas like Fairfax and Howe and Glenville area, like I said. However, these new construction homes are not super common since this area was established, you know, around that early 1910s. So homes here typically are gonna be a little bit older. Now, looking at Cleveland in general, there are so many apartment built complexes around the city, especially as that downtown population begins to, to grow. Uh, we already have a housing shortage here. So as more people begin to move into Cleveland, you know, they get in those rentals, I can only see the demand for housing in the future to be in more and more demand. And I only say this because do I think that there's gonna be a housing crash in Cleveland anytime soon? Unfortunately, I do not. As con Cleveland continues to grow, you know, more people are finally starting to move into Cleveland, which ultimately in turn is gonna cause more demand, especially for these housing prices in the near future. So if you're not familiar with the Greater, greater Circle Living, they have programs that offer eligible employees up to 30,000 in forgivable loans for home purchasing assistance. And on top of that, a lot of these, a lot of these are new remodeled homes are actually tax abating, meaning you're only gonna pay property taxes on the value of the land, not the house itself. And these are huge incentives for these home buyers moving in here. Now for the areas I just covered, niche.com has unfortunately rated, you know, Fairfax and Howe as a C minus neighborhood. Now long-term with all this new construction going on, do I think that these areas are gonna be a good investment in the near future? Personally, I would say yes. Again, with all the development, specifically around University Circle, there's definitely a demand for affordable housing. It is 1000% there. Now let's take a look at these amazing townhomes sandwiched right between University Circle, Cleveland Heights, and Shaker Heights called North Park Place. Now townhomes have been the new hot thing in, here in Cleveland. They are popping up all over the city. At this development specifically, we got 33 units here in total with the prices ranging, you know, around that $600,000 to that $700,000 mark. And now I really like this location, but the biggest incentive here is gonna be that 15 year tax abatement and the eligibility for the Greater Circle Living Program as well. But let's move on to the suburbs. Here are the areas that I see people moving to the most. Starting with the east side, we have Beechwood, Cleveland Heights, Shaker Heights, University Heights, Lindhurst, Mayfield Heights, and South Euclid. And to be honest, really anywhere east of 271. It's gonna be a tad rural over on the east of 271, but the homes here are absolutely stunning and the downtowns are amazing and the school districts are also amazing. Now on average, you're only looking around a like 15 to 20 minute drive, so it's gonna be very reasonable. You know, it's a little bit more of a stop and go traffic since there isn't a highway leading specifically to University Circle. Now, if you're looking on the west side, you're typically gonna be a little bit longer of a drive. You know, I'd say around 25 to 35 minutes, depending on traffic. Lakewood, which is gonna be the closest, you got Rocky River, Bay Village, Fairview Park, Westlake. The three biggest requests I get from people relocating here is gonna be schools, safety, and things to do, which is why it's important for you to reach out to me because there's so many different areas to, to kind of move to, and I would love to help you point you in the right direction. 
Now Lakewood, it's gonna be super fun and trendy, right? But it's a packed city with a lot of renters where Shaker Heights has some of the prettiest homes in Cleveland. But let me tell you, the property taxes are super high. You know, then areas like Beachwood, it's a super quiet neighborhood. But then, you know, the home prices are gonna be a little bit higher here in comparison to what you can get in other areas. So, right, it's gonna depend on exactly what you're looking for. So remember, if you're looking to relocate here, make sure you shoot me a text, a phone call, or email, because no matter how you wanna get a hold of me, I got your back when moving to the area. I appreciate you guys for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.